uh, with Dr. Sarin, who will be talking is Secretary General of ASEAN, to hear about the impact of ASEAN on the crisis. How, how, how badly is ASEAN going to be hit by the economic crisis? Uh, well, I think we are better off than 10, ye 10 years ago when we were hit by the first round of the crisis. It was called the Asian uh, financial crisis at that time. I think we have learned a lot, just like what President Clinton said. We have reformed, we have uh, instituted uh, you know, mechanisms and monitoring system. In fact, I think we have been extremely cautious. In, in some cases, probably banks are more cautious than they should be because uh, it's really uh, cutting down the, the, the flow of the money, the flow of the resources in the market, in the industry. So uh, if anything, I think uh, banks in Asia on the whole are less exposed to, to uh, toxic uh, assets. Uh, but uh, we are trying to, to certainly compensate for external funds and capital coming in uh, because of the shortage of, of them in, the, in America and in Western Europe. Now we are talking about uh, trying to implement our own, what we call the Chiang Mai Initiative uh, multilateralized uh, fund uh, to the tune of 80 billion US dollars. Maybe we can expand that so that uh, we can use them to compensate for the resources that have dried up. Okay, and then look into the Asian bond uh, market more uh, actively, more more seriously, because there are a lot of savings in the okay, region. Okay, so it's using, using the learnings from the f Asian financial exactly. crisis and the structures put in there. Yeah. Right now in, in Southeast Asia, one of them is more of a homegrown crisis, mm. Thailand. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the situation there? Well, uh, I think the Thais are going to go through uh, their problems and uh, will uh, you know, re-establish themselves, trying to find a balance in the system. Uh, there have been uh, a lot of pressures, uh, I think partly because of the, uh, the, the efforts to try to position themselves for a lot of uh, external uh, problems and pressures, competition, export, and how to streamline our own uh, structure, our own society, our own economic institutions. All these things are uh, problems for a country, and uh, we are going through that motion. It has taken some time, but uh, I think we'll we'll see all these problems through. And the political situation? Yeah, well, I mean, still going on, and uh, I think uh, it will take you know few more weeks in order to find that balance and that consensus so that we can move on. Uh, we are hoping that the mechanisms that are already in place can. Uh, accommodate all these problems, all these pressures, going back to the parliament within the constitutional means and uh, so you try are, to you, accommodate each other. It yeah. should take place within the constitution? I, I would certainly hope so and uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very difficult process. The country has been deeply divided and uh, we, what we are trying to do now is trying to heal that rift and I think the ties are doing their best, trying to do their best. What is your sense of people's perception of how Thailand is doing? Outside, uh, I outside. think a lot of, lot of concern, as President Clinton again had just said, that it is uh, worrisome for the U.S. because Thailand has been uh, a very close ally, the first ally in Asia. Uh, so uh, a lot of concern, a lot of worries, but uh, I have tried to uh, comfort them that uh, we will pull through and with the support, with the sympathy, with the understanding that this is a, an extremely difficult process for us. Uh, hiccups here and there once in a while, but uh, on the whole, it is a very, very open and participatory society. And I think, if anything, because it's been very, very open, very, very equal and very, very participatory. But the institutions and the structures, you know, we still need to uh, somehow streamline and find the fine-tuning for the right... Do you uh, think this current right. constitution will last or is it going to need for a new constitution? Uh, I think constitution is written to be amended and uh, I hope I hope that's the only, that's the you know furthest that we could go to amend but uh, you know uh, the, the situation is quite full. Okay. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. A lot. Bye -bye.